Adding captions to your videos is a must, especially if you're doing social media videos. So did you know you can do it automatically in Premiere Pro? Let me show you how in this video. Hey there, welcome to the video. So as mentioned, if you're doing any kind of video for social media, it's really, really important that you add captions because a lot of social media channels like Facebook have the audio turned off, so someone will simply scroll past your video. So I'm gonna show you a little tool in Premiere Pro that's gonna enable you to do these captions automatically. So let's jump in. The first thing you need to do is auto transcribe your sequence. You can do this in two ways. The first way is going up here to sequence and then clicking the auto transcribe sequence or go into window text and then this will appear at the side and then you can click create transcription. When you transcribe, you'll have options for what language you want as well as which audio track you want to transcribe. With the transcript, you'll see each word will be highlighted with the blue bar, and this will move with the timestamp of the video. Now, 90 to 95% of the time, the transcript will be accurate. It's really that good. But if you do need to edit, just double click the word like this, and you can edit the text. When you're making any edits, go over to this icon here that says Create Captions. When you click this, you get a few more options. For example, length in characters, and if you want it as a single or double line of subtitles on the screen. After you press create, you'll see all the subtitles appear on your timeline just like this. So now we have all of the subtitles added. If you double click, you can customize, such as changing the size, the font, or the color. I'm going to customize these now and play around with the different looks that I can do. Okay, nice. I like the look of this and it's very eye-catching and looks pretty good for this video. Now you'll notice all of these changes only worked for just this section. So what you'll have to do is go to this here where it says track style and press create track style. And then you want to name it. I'll call it yellow bold style. And now it's changed all of the subtitles. Now, this style will only be saved in the specific project you've made it in, so be sure to remember that when you open a new project, as this won't be saved here. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually animate these yet. Hopefully, Adobe will let us do this in the next version or update. However, if you do want to animate, you'll have to create an actual separate text box by clicking the letter T. Draw a box all the way around till the end. and press the letter C for the razor tool and just cut it at the point where you want the subtitles to change and it should automatically snap. Then select the subtitle box above it, copy the text by holding down Command and C and then select your text box and paste it in with Command and V and then delete the subtitle box and repeat this for every one. And now you have subtitles that you can animate. Now you can do lots of different types of animations, but I'll show you one for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video on the amount of different creative text animations you can do in Premiere Pro. Now for this, I'll make this piece of text pop in and pop out. So just scale down to zero and then add a keyframe. Then go three or four frames forward, then scale it up to the size you'd like it. The only problem now is it's coming from here and we don't want that. So go to the anchor point here and click the words. Now align your text with the point here using these X and Y numbers. Once the text is centered on the point, move the position of the text with the X and Ys above this to where you want it to be. So back down here. And now it pops in. You'll have to do this for each one of yours on the text layers. Now copy and paste both of these keyframes by highlighting them. Press Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. Now swap this one around like so and move these to the end. 
Then highlight all of the keyframes, right click and press ease in. This will just make it much smoother. And there you go, you have a pop in and out animated subtitle. We've designed a pop in and pop out preset to download and I'll put that link in the description below. Simply dragging and dropping on the text file if you don't feel like doing all of these keyframes. So there you go, how easy was that? You'll be adding subtitles and captions to all of your videos. Let me know in the comments section below if that helped you. And if you've got any tips for Premiere Pro users, leave those below because we've got a great community in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next Premiere Pro video up here.